breaking news, a confrontation at a donut shop ends in a deadly shooting. And police sources say the man they're looking for may have pulled the trigger because of where the victim was standing. Good evening. I'm Christine Johnson. Maurice is off tonight. The NYPD says the argument inside a Bronx Dunkin' Donuts spilled out into the street. And sources tell us a female customer accused the 26-year-old victim of getting too close and that is when she called her boyfriend for help. CBS 2's Corey James tells us what police say happened next. Balloons and candles were placed in front of 26-year-old Stephen Stewart's home. His family and friends who did not want their faces shown stood on the stoop and sidewalk mourning the loss, trying to understand why anyone would shoot their loved one, originally from Jamaica, who moved to the Bronx just three months ago. I'm surprised somebody would just hurt him like that over nothing. Stewart's aunt says her nephew was at this Dunkin' Donuts near Gun Hill Road in Holland Avenue in the Bronx. She says a witness told the family that a woman standing in line accused Stewart of being too close to her. Police say that woman then called her boyfriend, who then followed Stewart. Officers say they exchanged words before the suspect shot him about two blocks away. It's just sad. It's just sad. This neighbor says violence in this area happens often. I don't really feel safe, especially at night. During the day, yeah, taking the kids to school and bringing them back home, but not at night. And I'm surprised this happened during the day. So, like, now I'm confused. Stewart leaves behind his mother and two sisters who are in Jamaica, a family heartbroken over a sudden and senseless loss. For anyone that have any information about these people that killed my nephew, please help us because we don't really even know them ourselves. And loved ones say Stewart's mom was rushed to the hospital after she learned her son had been murdered. We're told he worked here in the city at a restaurant to support his family in Jamaica. In the Williamsbridge section of the Bronx, Corey James, CBS 2 News. And police say that there is video inside the store that shows the woman and the victim had no physical contact. That video has not been released at this hour.